Hey everyone, Hans here with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about building a full campaign for a commercial cleaning company. Recently we started working with the commercial cleaning company and the other day I made a post about how we're targeting for them, how we're finding specific businesses um, in a 25 to 30 mile radius around their location. And today I'll show you exactly the campaign that we're building, how we're doing it, how we're personalizing things and how we're getting really uh, strong emails out the door. Um, and it's a campaign built from A to Z. Very excited to show you. It's been a while since I did one of these. Um, yeah, excited and hopefully you will learn something. So let's dive in. Let's start with the email that, or the emails that we'll be sending. Um, only wrote one variation for this for now. Email goes, you know, hey John, I was driving past your building on Fifth Avenue earlier and figured you might be dealing with any of these issues. Spills and debris in warehousing areas disrupting safe and efficient logistics operations, unclean transportation, et cetera, et cetera. So these are AI generated cleaning issues that a company might have based on uh, what type of company it is, uh, on their company description, et cetera. How's your current cleaning staff handling all that? Asking because we're in a local cleaning business and we deal with a lot of similar issues every day for our clients. Can I give you a call today or tomorrow to see if I can be of any help? PS, is phone number the best number to reach you? Email number two on day number three. Haven't heard anything from you. Are you the best person to contact to discuss cleaning related topics? Quick reminder, companies like company name, work with us to keep their locations as clean as it gets in our cleaning supply stocks. Hoping to hear from you, signature um, and a quick PS type thing there. That's the campaign that we'll be sending. Um, fairly straightforward, but AI is helping us to put some pretty interesting, um, you know, personalization in there. It's something that, you know, previously you would be able to do by um, just, you know, putting a lot of, so if you don't want to use AI, you can achieve more or the same thing just through segmentation or setting up a bunch of variables. You can say, okay, if industry is manufacturing, then choose these variables. If industry is healthcare, choose these variables. You can achieve more or less the same thing. It's just, you know, a lot trickier to set up, takes more work. Um, and, you know, AI, the best use case of AI um, from what I've found is how it can help us be a lot more efficient and work a lot faster. So that's what we're using AI for here. And it's coming up with some pretty good suggestions. Then um, to quickly circle back to, you know, the targeting. So what we did is, you know, to go to overpassturbo.au, uh, which is, let's say, the API interface for OpenStreetMap. It will help you mine OpenStreetMap. Uh, we had ChatGPT write a quick query to get us all the towns and cities in a 30 mile radius of, um, of these, let's say coordinates right here. And, um, that's exactly what it did. So then got us a really big um, JSON, uh, JSON output that we then dropped in your chat GPT. Chat GPT gave us, uh, ex extracted all the towns and city names from that JSON. We dropped that into Apollo. Um, and we got the contact list from there. So if that, you know, um, if that went a bit quick, just read the post that posted it uh, yesterday, depending on when you're watching this video, uh, read the post. If you still have any questions, then obviously feel free to ask, but that's how we started with building the list. And then um, Augustine, he asked, you know, uh, why not use Google Maps enrichment? So Google Maps is um, a great option for this as well or a good option for this as well, not a great option. Now the radius thing that Clay has, yes, that is good. So if you're looking here in Clay, what you can do, you can say, okay, here's, you know, the, um, the zip code and I want to target more as this, this radius. The thing is that it will get you 200 results minus dupes, duplicates, uh, which isn't great. So altogether you need to string together a bunch of queries. Um, you can do it through Epify. Again, need to string together a bunch of queries and you can do it is and will likely do it because um, the list that we've pulled now is not a really, really big list. We're going after really specific job titles, uh, like facility managers, uh, ground keepers, those types of job titles. And um, those are a lot easier to get from Apollo. So initially we built the list in Apollo. We're able to get all those folks out of there. That will give us a few thousand people to send to. Or once that is exhausted, we can build another list of just business owners in that area. And that is 
um, potentially easier to do through Google Maps or once that list, or, you know, the business owner from Apollo is exhausted as well, then go to Google Maps to find the somewhat smaller businesses that um, Apollo likely doesn't have. So that is, in this specific use case, is the third, maybe fourth option for me to go for, but it's definitely not a bad option. I wouldn't go through Clado because of this limitation right here. I prefer to just uh, put together a bunch of queries in uh, Appify or ask my, my previous business partner who has a custom Google Maps scraper to um, just scrape the area. Um, so that's... Um, that's why we're using Apollo. This is the email that we're sending, and this is the clay table that we built for that. So here we have, you know, your average uh, Apollo data with facility coordinator, property manager, and um, uh, so real estate agents uh, or property manager in this case, um, and other titles like what I mentioned, like groundskeeper, those types of titles are the ones that we pulled in here. So we found about uh, 2.8 thousand for now. Initially, we still have uh, a lot of options to expand that list. Then whatever we do next is nothing groundbreaking, you know, valid, like validate first always, we validate their email that we get from Apollo. If that email is um, valid, great. If it's not valid, then we go through Prospeo. Then, uh, because the company descriptions that we get from Apollo, they're often a bit short or they're just not there. So we enrich through LinkedIn. We get the company description from LinkedIn. And then based on that company description, we have a cleaning issues prompt here, which funny enough is um, a, um, a variation of the creative ideas prompt from Eric. He has the you know creative marketing ideas prompt where you know using this input you know generate three creative marketing ideas this company could use instead i turned that into using this input create three bullet points of different ways a company um might be running into cleaning related issues so i used his prompt as a base and this is the prompt i came up with um so then this is the input you know you get that job description be specific give examples that are most likely to occur based on what the company does keep each bullet under 15 words um, and I keep repeating this in every single video, you know, there's, there are things you can still do with this prompt to make it more specific, but, um, I had a look at the output and I really liked the output. I really thought it was, uh, was good enough to start sending. Um, then one reason why, um, why I feel up was good because I feel a lot of people maybe not giving examples at all. I used to not do it, but the difference between giving at least one example and then getting your output is is so big that I always give an example and I probably should give like two or three here to get even better output. So I definitely recommend anyone, you know, trying this type of thing, give it, the ability to give examples is a really, really great future that Clay has. And I um, cannot recommend you enough to use it. Then... Uh, uh, just a quick setting here is to only run it when, you know, description um, is at least 40 characters long, probably could be like 80 or 100. But again, uh, pretty happy with the output and um, uh, it's giving some, you know, some really specific examples based on. So it, the, the biggest benefit of using AI compared to the method that I explained earlier, where you're saying, okay, if manufacturing use this, if real estate use that, if healthcare use that, the biggest benefit of this is it gives some really, really um, specific examples based on what the company does, and can even um, uh, can even you know mention a company name, that type of thing, or hazardous materials. Uh, actually, you know. Um, process materials and it will it will know based on what the company does they they require specialized cleanup as this waste material that type of thing is not something that you can often get from you know from just a general industry description or industry tag however you want to call that so that's why uh going with ai in this case is the um uh, is my preferred option. So we have that output right here. And then it really is just a matter of setting up the smart lead campaign, getting that synced. And, um, and then we only have a couple of variables here. So street address 
what I'll do before launching this. I will clean up the street address. Let me find that. So here's company address. So I would just get you in clay, just use a formula saying, give me the, or separate this by comma. So that will get you this version of one or three Lincoln park, 36 Madison Avenue. Um, that's that fits in there really well. So driving past the building on, um, 36 Madison Avenue earlier and figure you might be dealing with any of these issues, um, cleaning issues. How are you currently handling that? We help solve that. Can I give you a quick call? Um, the reason why I'm in this CTA is because of, you know, the types of folks that we're reaching out to their, um, um, in, in types of industries that we're reaching out to, they're more used to handling business over the phone. In my experience, um, and we also have their phone number, at least, you know, their location phone number. So because we have that, I think this ties in really well with this to, you know, make this email seem really natural. Um, obviously it's something that we'll be experimenting with, uh, by having a bit more of, let's say soft CTA, but I do feel that, you know, this is, a um, a good CTA and it's a straightforward email because like I said, we have the phone number, I feel it flows really naturally and it fits well together. So that's the full campaign build for the commercial cleaning, um, uh, client that we're doing. You know, someone asked me in the DMS, if I could share exactly what we're doing. So now you know exactly what we're running. Um, and, uh, you know, you might even, um, take some inspiration from that. If anyone has other in, uh, you know, um, experience running these types of campaigns for commercial cleaning, then would love to get your insights and see what's working for you. But for now, hopefully you'll find this helpful and, um, I'm looking forward to hopefully seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.